Hi, Darren. Thanks for speaking to us. I know it's probably the last thing you want to do after that. Um, no, no, it's fine. Uh, sum up how you're feeling. I mean, what a change from from 25 minutes into the game. You must be absolutely gutted with, with how that's ended up panning out. Well, as you said, 25 minutes into the game and you're thinking, well, we get another goal here. This could be a right, a night, a right, good, enjoyable night for us. I thought we were outstanding. For the first third of the game, I thought we were outstanding. What we worked on, pressed them. A couple of goals could head more. Some good opportunities to, to increase the lead. And then, of course, we give away. There was about a period of a couple of minutes where we started being sloppy and giving balls away against a team that have a good technical team, as we've seen. And psychologically, things in football are so huge. You're playing against a team that are really struggling or 2-0 down to a team that's on the cusp of getting a promotion. And then their goal gave them hope and it, and it affected us too much. It really did. I thought we started the second half poorly. I thought we were too deep. We stopped doing the things that we did so well in the first half. We lost a sloppy second goal. Um, and to be fair, we kicked on a little bit more. I mean, look, you have to analyse the game carefully when, when you've only seen it once and obviously the emotion of it when you're watching it, Sam. I have to watch it back. I have to say, without watching it back, their goalkeepers made three unbelievable saves. Um, and you just hope one of them goes in and, and, and you get the result. And you said you, you stopped doing in the second half what you did so well in the first. Or also, obviously, what you did so well on Saturday at Charlton to grind out that win as well and, and show so many of those characteristics. It, it, it seems, I don't know if it was the pressure or what, you'd know better than me, but it, it just seemed such a marked change from, from what got you over the line on Saturday at the Valley. Well, what happened when they, get the, when they scored, the game became very stretched in the second half, which I didn't want because that's what they wanted, that a counter-attacking team and, and some quick players. You know, and... The second goal, we should do better. You know, Butts needs a bit more help in front of him there. Um, and and a, the, both goals are poor. Both goals are, are, are avoidable. Um, but really, the game changed on the first goal and it should never have done. We, we lost we lost away a little bit in the second half. We lost a little bit of composure. It was a couple of bookings. You know, I think that didn't help Dan. Maybe, you know, looking at that, he was probably a bit worried about making a tackle. But, you know... We should have got control back quicker than what we did. But there's no doubt, look, it, it, it's it's an opportunity. We know we're 2-0 up after half an hour. Um, it's a massive opportunity missed. But we still have another one on Saturday. Yeah, of course, st still opportunities to come. Uh, do, you, do you feel, obviously, there were fireworks that went off, Darren, when it was 2-0 about the half an hour mark. But do you feel it, it that got to your players, spooked them a little bit? Do you think it may be motivated Doncaster's players to, to, to step up and, and and think they weren't just going to roll over? Do you think it had an effect at all? Well, uh, I'm not going to be critical of my fans. You know, we've missed them. And and the excitement of us getting back into the championship is huge. Everyone's aware of that. I don't think it helped. I don't. I don't think it helped. I'm not, not blaming them. We would never do that. You know, we can only look at ourselves first and foremost. But if I was a Doncaster player or a Doncaster manager and I seen fireworks going off after half an hour, that would be a motivation for me. So, look, you know, it happens. It was a bit premature, as we've seen, because we've, we've still not promoted. But I have to now focus quickly on, on Saturday, Sam. And, you know, after the game, everyone was very disappointed and quiet in the dressing room. And, and really... After a game like that, whatever I say is not, they're probably not listening, if you understand what I mean. So I have to wait to speak to them and, and with a bit more clarity and for them to listen. But we are in a great position still. We remain in, in a fantastic position. We have missed an opportunity tonight. We, there's no getting away from that. But we have to regroup quickly and, and make sure we get a result on Saturday and any result gets us a promotion. Yeah, of course you're going to feel disappointed, but important not to not to be too downbeat for too long because you needed a win tonight. On Saturday, you need a draw. So in a way, that task gets easier. I know you won't just go for a draw, obviously, but you know you're inching closer. Yeah, I, 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 as sort of tense as it is, it, it, you know you are getting there. <laughs> we never make it easy, do we? We never. <laughs> um, but no. It, what I've got to do now is, is regroup the players and, and, and keep them 
focused and keep them with the belief that they've had all season. We, we've come too far to lose that now. Um, so we're still in a good position against a good team on Saturday. We've got to go and try and win the game. We're not a team that can just sit and hope we get a draw. That won't work. Uh, I have to analyse this evening. There's certain things everyone can see we have to do better. Um, and if we do that, then it gives us a chance of getting the right result. But, you know, it's going to be a tough game. Should you have had a penalty in the second half? A chance where, where Dan Butler struck the ball and it's it's blocked? I couldn't see it from where I was, but have you had a chance to look at it back or get a clearer view at the time? And to be honest, I've not had a look at it. I've not had a, a chance to look at it back. Um, the, I think when you see the reaction of our players and the reaction of theirs, um, probably tells its own story, but I, I, I've got to be honest, Sam, I've not seen it back, so I can't answer. I don't know yes or no whether it's a penalty. Yeah, and as you say, the, the job for you now, quite simple over the next few days, regroup the players and, and important that you get that final push to, to get it done on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, that's absolutely that's all we can do. That's all we can do. And uh, I always said, unfortunately, I didn't want it to be the case tonight. With what a season, the way it is, is there's twists and turns and there's another one tonight, uh, unfortunately. And, you know, we've got to quickly get them back to believing in what we're doing and look they've not lost belief it's just that it, it, as human beings as all of us are you know fans yourselves we're all disappointed because after half an hour you're thinking right we've got a right chance but we stopped doing the things we'd, we 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 got us into that position and and I didn't think we reacted we didn't start the second half well enough we didn't start with enough authority in that second half and what happens then is it gives the opposition hope and they took hope they, they took the advantage of that and saying that, the chances we had and the saves that we made on another night, one of them goes in and we're not talking about this. And of course, so unusual for you recently at home. You know, you've, you've got those three wins away from home and it's at home where you've, you know, you've had that bit of a stumble. Well, yeah. I mean, over the course of the season, our, our home form has been outstanding. And we've only picked up one point from the last two games. So it's two missed opportunities, really. Um but that can happen over the course of the season. You know, we've got to stay strong. Look, we've done fantastically well up to now. You know, absolute disappointment tonight. Everyone's disappointed. But I've got every confidence in the players that we can get over the line and every confidence that we can get a performance that will be good enough to get us a result on Saturday.